So here I am one day, just checking in on the MLP analysis subreddit, and I find, to my horror, that my favorite episode is being burned at the stake. People are saying things like, putting your hoof down is the worst episode. Now I'll have you know that putting your hoof down is my favorite episode, and if you go around saying things like that about my favorite episode and my favorite pony, then I'll be there to respect your opinions and settle this through calm and civil debate. So here I am to defend Fluttershy's honor on the analytical field of battle. So I'm going to split this review into two parts. The first part covering the parts that make the episode great, aside from the writing, things like music, animation, voice acting, etc. And then the second part will talk about the writing itself and the story. We'll start with the first part. Duh. It seemed to me that the other people involved in the show, like the animators and people like William and Anderson, often don't receive enough credit in the show, which is a shame because they are really what makes this episode so fantastic. The music in this episode is incredible. Now I know this episode didn't have any big musical numbers or sing-alongs, but it did have background music. The background music in the show is done by the great William Anderson, and it captures the scene perfectly. And the greatest injustice of all is that you probably didn't even notice the music. So let's fix that. But the music isn't the only good thing being shoved into our ears by this episode. The voice acting is top notch. The thing about voice acting that has always impressed me was how a voice actor is not just able to speak well in a different voice, but also be able to express a full range of emotions in that voice. And Andrea Libman is able to do that for not one, but two completely different voices. And it really shows in this episode. Both Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy emote aplenty in this episode. And I can't help but imagine this this scene, without thinking of Andrea Limmon sitting alone in a recording studio having a heated argument with herself. But by far, the greatest part of this episode is the humor. Now you might think that the humor is part of the writing, but not in this episode. The best jokes come from the animators. The episode is full of fun visual gags, whether it's Pinky breaking physics, two ponies appearing from seemingly out of nowhere, or Rarity being picked up by her horn. The silliness of all the animation sure got a chuckle out of me. The animators also have comedic timing down perfectly, with every awkward pause lasting exactly the right amount of time for maximum hilarity. Iron Will's my name, training ponies is my game. What a darling little catchphrase. And Iron Will turned you into a lean, mean, assertive machine. Putting Your Hoof Down is easily one of the funniest episodes in the whole show, but also one of the most terrifying. What do I mean by that? Well, you'll find out in part two. Stay tuned.